Once upon a time, there lived a magical unicorn named Starlight. Starlight had a flowing mane of rainbow colors and a shimmering white coat. She spent her days frolicking through the enchanted forest and using her healing magic to help woodland creatures in need. One sunny morning, Starlight was drinking from a babbling brook when she heard a pop and a shower of pink sparkles rain down around her. She looked up to see a tiny fairy hovering above her head. Greetings Starlight, said the fairy. My name is Rosie. Queen Titania requests your presence immediately in the fairy kingdom. Starlight neighed excitedly. She had never been summoned by the fairy queen before. After bidding Rosie goodbye, Starlight spread her majestic wings and took to the skies. Starlight soared over the misty valley and fields of fragrant flowers until she arrived at the gates of the fairy kingdom. Two armored troll guards stood watch. Halt, who goes there? One grunted. Tis I, Starlight the unicorn, she replied. Queen Titania is expecting me. The troll stepped aside and allowed Starlight to pass. She trotted down the streets of the fairy city, taking in the sights and sounds of the bustling fairy folk. The buildings were made of mushrooms and toadstools and glowed in a rainbow of pastel colors. Soon she arrived at the royal palace. Queen Titania sat upon her throne of spider silk and unicorn horns. Welcome Starlight, she said. I have a quest of great importance for you. The wicked witch has stolen three of my most precious fairy treasures, the mirror of truth, the rainbow pearl, and the magic crystal. These must be retrieved from her dark tower before she uses their power for evil. Will you accept this perilous journey? Starlight bravely agreed to the quest. After stocking up on healing potions and magic apples, she set off for the wicked witch's lands. Starlight flew until she reached the witch's domain of gloomy forests and jagged mountains. In the distance, she could see the dark tower. Guarding the entrance was a ferocious manticore. Starlight attempted to sneak past the creature, but it let out a threatening roar and charged at her with astonishing speed. Thinking quickly, Starlight pointed her glowing horn at the manticore and shot a beam of light directly at it. The light was so bright and warm that it turned the manticore from a fearsome beast into a mild-mannered kitten. With the path now clear, Starlight cautiously proceeded inside the shadowy tower. Inside the tower, the walls were lined with dusty books of spells and enchantments. Strange creatures peered out from the shadows. Starlight's hoofsteps echoed on the stone floor as she ascended a winding staircase. At the top was a heavy wooden door. She pushed it open with all her might to reveal a cluttered room glowing from the light of a magic crystal ball. Cackling loudly, the wicked witch emerged from behind a bookcase. How dare you break into my domain, she screeched. Starlight reared up and shot a warning beam near the witch's feet. I've come for what you stole from Titania, she proclaimed. Then you shall leave empty-hooved, the witch retorted. She raised her hands to cast a spell but Starlight was faster. With a mighty blast from her horn, the witch was thrown against the wall, knocked unconscious. Victorious, Starlight located the three stolen fairy treasures and safely secured them in her saddlebags. She also helped herself to a few of the witch's spell books before swiftly departing the tower. The kingdom rejoiced when Starlight returned the treasures to Queen Titania and peace was restored to the land. As a reward, Starlight was made an honorary fairy. She was presented with gorgeous crystal butterfly wings and given the ability to visit the fairy world anytime. Starlight enjoyed many more exciting adventures with her new fairy friends. But she always remained the same humble, kind-hearted unicorn she had always been. And she lived happily ever after in the enchanted forest where her journey had begun so long ago.